Hello everyone, Esam here with the fourth design tutorial. The reason why I broke this tutorial into two parts is because in this part, I'm going to show you how to use the path tool, which is completely different from text. So I didn't want to confuse anyone and show this in two. I mean, I wanted to show this in two. Okay, so let's get started. So if I click on my fish, which is, this is the text for now. So this is my text layer, even though it's converted into an object, we type this out. The reason why I emphasize this is because we can actually create the word fish using the path tool. The way the path tool works is this is a path. If you hold down Alt and click through it, you have different path options. You have your pen tool, you have your the one that adds an anchor point, this one deletes an anchor point, and the last one you have is the convert anchor point tool, which we're not going to cover at this stage. So the pen tool is where you create your path with. This is a path. Anything you create is a path. The way you create a path is by clicking anywhere on the canvas using the pen tool. And if I click somewhere else, it's created a path. Click somewhere else, another path is another path is being created. And now if I click somewhere else, if I hold down and don't let go, and I just hold down a bit, I can move it so it's a bit smooth. Not smooth, it's a bit rounded. So it has rounded corners instead of a sharp corner like that. The reason why it's doing this is because it has a background color. If I turn the background color off, and if I turn on the path color, there you go. So in a summary, in a nutshell, the pen creates a path and we're gonna be using path to create our text. So for example, if I click here, then here, then here again, then down here, then down here, then one more time, then here. See, now I've written fish. I wrote on the F, sorry. So I created an F instead of typing it. That's the, that's why I was emphasizing this is a text and this is a path, because you can do both things. So let me delete this. But what we want to do is create the head of the fish. So let me move this into an appropriate position and now I'm going to choose the path tool. I'm going to start with this anchor point. I'm going to make my life easier by pressing command and R. That's control and R if you're on a Windows machine. I'm using a Mac again. I'm going to drag a ruler down and hold the guide and leave it here at this point and this anchor point here and this anchor point there. Now I'm going to create something here. I'm going to make sure I have the same spacing between here and here. So it's, I'm going to measure that afterwards. I'm going to start here. I'm going to start from the top of the head and down. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to go down about just above halfway. And I'm going to click and then I'm going to drag down. So it's a bit rounded. Then I'm going to click on the anchor point we created. And then I'm going to click a bit in, so it's a sharp cut that goes inside. Let me do that bit again. Then I'm going to click a little out here, diagonally, just a bit up in an angle. And then lastly, I'm going to click here, just underneath the anchor point here. And now I'm going to drag this down so it touches the corner here. Then I'm going to click here again. Now I'm going to click back up. So we've created the head. Now I'm going to choose around a circle tool. Let me just check if it's actually called the circle tool. I don't want to give you guys a wrong name. It should be called a circle tool. I can't get the word. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in an eye over here. And right now it's not a cut out because if I change the color of the background, it's still there. What I need to do Oh, you see, we made a mistake there. Let me fix that first. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. It's going out too much. Let's go here. And then here. Okay. There we go. 
ellipsal. That's the word I was looking for. So I'm going to hold shift and alt so it drags in a circle from the center of where you're clicking. And then I'm going to change that to a different color. Now I'm going to hold the color and hold the head. And I'm going to go up here to Windows, go to Pathfinder, which is over here. And then we click on this the expand compound shape. That just cut out the eye. Then I'm going to double click onto the eye, double click again, then we'll delete this. So it cut out the shape. Now I can change the color of the background and it's going to be transparent. So this is my fish. Then I'm going to use the same ellipse tool. It's funny how I forgot the name. I've been using this every day. Then I'm going to go up here to ellipse tool. Now I'm going to say it a few times, ellipse tool. And I'm going to make the same way I made the eye. I'm going to make the bubbles going up, up, and then up. Then I'm going to click on each of them like this, holding down shift and clicking on more than one. You can have multiple selections. Take off the path, add white, and then here we go. So this is my fish, which is created better than this one. Okay, so thank you for watching. In the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys something different. So let me show you the Wi-Fi I was talking about. So if I, if I type in Wi-Fi, then if I go up here to warp, see look, now instead of writing Wi-Fi as in flat, you can ha actually have it as a symbol. See? Thank you for watching. Actually, that can not the Wi Fi symbol. Wi Fi symbol would be going up. It can be the speaker symbol or even the contactless if you're in London symbol. So you can write something like contactless or something like that. So, thank you for watching. In the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to add in text around the path. So, let's do a quick one. We have something that's like this. And we're going to have text that goes across this. But to see that, you're going to have to watch the next tutorial. Until then, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.